Howdy 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 folks and welcome back to another Project Nexus modding tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make a custom projectile and add it into Project Nexus. So without further ado, let's get started. So as you can see, uh, we're going to be needing Unity for this one. So if you've watched my melee weapon and ranged weapon tutorials, you should already be familiar with this MPN underscore mod tools Unity project. So I won't be covering uh, how to get this project or how to open it up. You can go and look at those, pro uh, those previous tutorials and those will show you how to do it. So in this tutorial, obviously, we're going to be making a projectile. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up here and we're going to hit create. We're going to hit create empty. And then we're going to rename that to projectile underscore test. It doesn't necessarily matter what this is named. I just like to put the word projectile in there so I immediately know what this is. So projectile underscore test, I'm going to be showing you the first method uh, to adding a custom projectile, but there are a couple methods here. So we're going to hit add component and you're going to search here in the search bar for trail and you're going to add that trail renderer and then you're going to locate where that game object is and as you can see there is now a trail whenever I move it around. So if you want your weapon to fire a big pink blob square you can stop right here and go ahead and export this and put it in the game. But in our case we want something a little bit different so in order to change the size of this trail we click on this kind of red diamond over here and then we can move it up or down to change kind of like the width of it. So say I want it to look a little more different then we can right click and hit add key and with these keys we can make the back of it super fat while the, the front of it is like super thin. So it, it's got this like huge starting point and then it just kind of tapers off and thins out. Or we can have the exact opposite where the front of it is super thick but the back of it is kind of like tiny. And you can add as many of these keys as you need to and just kind of play around with them. See, you know, what works out most for you. Maybe you want it to have like a large front and like a thin middle and then a large back or maybe you want the middle to be kind of like a little larger and you want the back to be kind of thin and wispy. So in our case I think we'll leave it as is. I kind of like the way this projectile is looking but also if you kind of want the front of it to look a little sharper if we add another key here we can kind of add one of them above the other and then move down and as you can see let me adjust we can definitely make some funky uh, shapes here and then we can make it yeah I mean look at that it, it, it's a little it's kinda like a worm on a string <laughs> now that I look at it but now what we're going to change is you'll you'll see a little category here called time. You're going to want to click on that and change that to about 0 0.1. What that's going to change is that is the amount of time that this trail will exist in the game. Um, so if you change it to 0 0.1, it's only like after the weapon fires, that trail is only going to be there for like 0 0.11 of a second, I think. Um, and it'll disappear quite quickly and typically that's what you want but maybe you don't want it to disappear uh, If you want it to take a little bit longer set it to 0 0.5 But the default of 5 is way too long and the trail exists for like five whole seconds, which is kind of crazy So we're gonna set it to 0 0.1 now um, In I'll just kind of go to a random folder here um, yeah, we'll go into the Halo Covenant folder because I already have a custom projectile, a uh, couple custom projectiles here. Uh, go into a folder, it uh, doesn't necessarily matter which one, maybe you'll make your own folder dedicated just to custom projectiles. Right click, hit create, and we're going to create our own custom material. And we're just going to name this, um, Test Projectile. And so now we can apply a shader to this. The shader I would personally recommend using 
for your projectile would probably be Madness Unlit uh, Glass or maybe like 80s Glow if, you, if you're if you using a, a mesh. And I'll show you what I mean by that here in a minute. But in our case, I think I'll add Unlit Glass Outline. And so now we can decide our color here. We'll make this cyan or turquoise yeah i'm feeling a little turquoise here and we'll change the outline color to say i don't know red awful color combo very good or well we'll have to change the color here see what what what's that hexadecimal there let's change it to that there we go so now we have a material here that has a color and an outline on it and we're going to drag and drop it on top of our custom projectile so now that when we move this projectile, it'll have that kind of, look at that. It has that uh, cyan blue. I'm also noticing it looks a little different. There we go. That's a, a funky looking projectile. I think I'm comfortable with using that. So at this point, if you have, um, say you want to add like a texture, if you're using like an image texture for your projectile, you could use um, Madness, and I believe you could use, I think Glass Character, no, no, what am I thinking here? I think you could use, yeah, you can use 80s Glow and then apply a texture here, but that also kind of applies this glow effect. You could also use character standard uh, if you do that, and then I were to move it. You can see it largely looks the same here. And then you could also apply uh, a texture to this. So, uh, but in my case, I don't have a texture. But again, if you had a texture, you would just grab it, ideally from the same folder, and you would just drag and drop it up here where it says texture. Um, and you can also do that with a bunch of different shaders. You can do that with base Unity shaders, I believe. I'd honestly just kind of click through these and play around and just kind of feel it out for yourself. But I'm showing you kind of like the basic idea. So if I were to go into prefabs here and put our test projectile in here, I could then put this test projectile into any one of these asset bundles. Does not necessarily matter which one. Um, I could put it into arm cannon, even though it's not going to be coming from an arm cannon. Um, and we can put it in there, and we could go ahead and export this right now. But there's a couple different methods I want to show you guys to uh, making a custom projectile. So over here, I have a custom projectile that is using a 3D model. And I can kind of open up this prefab here and show you. So I have this 3D model called Needle. And then I have this game object called projectile underscore needle. And all I did was apply a kind of, I think, I think this particular game object is using the 80s glow. Yeah, so you can see here it's using 80s glow and it has this texture on it, although I don't think that texture is doing anything. Um... And the color is just pink. So I kind of have this like transparent uh, sort of needle here. Uh, and that's for like the needler that I added into the game. Uh, I also have this projectile here, which is this superheated crossbow bolt. So it's using this like cylindrical crossbow bolt 3D model. And all I did, um, let's see here if I can find where this is. Uh, you can see here that this is using the item's weapon shader. Phone, please. Please. Um, this is using the item's weapon shader, and then I put an outline on it in order to kind of give it this glow effect. So if you're using a 3D model for your projectile, you can absolutely do that. All you do is after you've like scaled and textured your model... Um, you just put it into like a projectile game object, divvy it up however you like, and then you would just put it here into prefabs, and then you're done. So the last type of 3D kind of, um, what am I thinking here? The last type of projectile I want to show you is basically a blend of the two I just showed you now. 
So I have this rocket here, and as you can see with this rocket, it has a trail behind it. So whenever, as this projectile is flying through the world, it has this white trail behind it. So the way I did that is that I applied that same trail effect to, um, to the game object, and I ensured, if I unpack this prefab here, let me unpack the prefab and take the missile out, I ensured that this was coming out of the back of the missile, so it, it looks good as it was flying, and I made sure that it was orientated in the same direction as the missile. That was important because that ensured that they would fly in the same direction. And if I were to put it back and then move it, uh, you can see that the trail is working as intended. Very good. And that's kind of the third type of projectile that you can do. It's a model that has a trail on it. So as it's flying, it leaves a trail behind it. So now that we are done here, uh, let's go ahead and export our test projectile. Um, we'll just go ahead and export it now. It's already in an asset bundle I wasn't using anyway. Uh, so let's just go ahead and, and build as we always have before with Unity. Building asset bundle, building asset bundle, building asset bundle. The asset has been built. So now it will open up a folder. And I should see one up here called Arm Cannon. Yes, sir. So in my previous tutorials, I had um, kind of like a test thing here. So I have a test mod here. So But anyway, in our pistol here, um, we are going to, we have a custom ammo here. Um, a couple tutorials ago, I showed you um, how to make a custom ammo. I believe it's the, the range tutorial. We're just going to change that file name to like one. And here in the bullet, we are going to put in projectile underscore test. And then, so now that this is called this, I need to make sure that it this is using this. So it's that one HL2 pistol shot. Very good. So I should now be able to go into the game and let's see if it works. All right, now that we're in the game here, let us go and uh, get our modded pistol and see if it is firing the custom projectile that we gave it. So pistol, test pistol. Yes. As you can see, it is now firing the custom projectile that we gave it. <laughs> and using stupid sound effects all the while, but yes, that is kind of a showcase of what it looks like uh, when you make a custom projectile and then what that would look like in the game. So as you can see, the projectile is disappearing basically immediately uh, after it hits something, which is exactly what we want. Uh, that's why we set the time to 0 0.5. So that is all very well and good. So that's pretty much going to be it for this tutorial. We've uh, proven that projectiles work in the game. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and comment down below. And of course, there will be links to the various different resources that you will need in the description. So thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Peace out.